We're a couple of days away from the fights on Saturday night. The UFC is back in London just after a couple of months. We so many big stars have come out for the big London show, so stay tuned to MMA Junkie. I know that the English fans are one of the most dedicated fans I have ever met, so I can't wait to interact with them. And yeah, uh, let's go, guys. It's London. Guys, UFC London is just around the corner. This is the third time you're going to see Paul Craig get a triangle victory over a top 10 opponent. Uh, tune in and make sure you don't miss any of the action. We're here with light heavyweight contender Alexander Rakic, who's here in London, guest fighter, right? Finally, the first time as a guest fighter. Can't wait for the show on Saturday. A champion under the name, Charles Oliveira, Another amazing finish. See you at the O2 Arena, London, Saturday night and uh, thank you for the support guys make sure you tune in on saturday um i'm top of prelims so make sure you watch it's going to be an absolute banger of a fight and it's going to be a stand-up wall so make sure you come watch all the best uh, so this will be my third ufc london show uh you know obviously the first one was a long time ago that one was amazing because that was the night mike got inducted into the hall of fame so it was incredible uh, but I will say, I think last time the show was even better. Uh, the fans went nuts. The, just being here after such a long layoff, coming back, it was such a like an epic release for everybody. You could tell, like the fighters, the fans, everybody. It it felt like um, I don't know. It did feel special. I know you hear that a lot, but that one really did feel special. Safara, who are your top three fighters for UFC London? I gotta go with Tom Aspinall just because we're gonna see right now if he's championship caliber. I do believe he has the potential, but no better test than Curtis Blade. The guy's fought who's who. He's got great wrestling. He's a gritty, tough fighter, and I think I'm very interested to see how Tom Aspinall is grappling matches up against his. And if Aspinall can win, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets pushed to a title shot or at least a number one contender fight. Also looking forward to Mohamed Mokayev. I've been covering him since before the UFC. Amateur champ, undefeated, brimming with confidence, and he takes on a very tough Charles Johnson, who's an LFA champ, has tons of experience, fought five rounds, fought the likes of Brandon Royval, so it's gonna be a great fight. And finally, Jai Herbert, uh, simply because I don't believe he's lived up to his potential just yet. Signed a new four fight deal though, so clearly the UFC see the potential. We saw him go to war with Ilya Tuporia, dropped him, had him badly hurt. Didn't go his way, but I think this is a big opportunity for him against Kyle Nelson. It all goes down on Saturday night at the O2 Arena right here. Uh, stay tuned to MMA Junkie. Uh, I think <laughs> stinking that <laughs> one. <laughs> oh, Jai, wake, wake up commenced. Wake right, up started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, it's all right, man. So having a bit of food, you know what I mean? How excited are you to be back in London? I know last time out didn't go your way. Amazing flight, though. Yeah. Uh, kind of uh, get some vengeance here. Yeah, man. I'd like, I'm glad I'm back on the next card straight away so I can get back in there and, you know, put the wrongs I did, put them right, you know what I mean? So, yes, Jai! You don't have to put much right because in your last fight you were doing absolutely phenomenal. You looked incredible and hey, listen. You got caught, man. You got caught. Bro, We've bro, all been there. We've all been there. Part of the game. Mm. Fight like you did last time. Smash it in. 100%. 100%. Legend like Mike, you know. Mike, you see. The fans can expect a crazy heavyweight battle, as always, with me. So, tune in Saturday night. Second time headlining uh, UFC London back to back. How's that feel? Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, Big things, big things going on in London this weekend. So anytime you get to headline in London, it's a big deal. Media day was great, but if I could pick two guys who stole the show, obviously Paddy Pimblett, he was on fire. He was pissed off. He was not happy with Jordan Levitt. A lot of people are wondering if that's gonna affect him in the fight. He seems calm in the fighting stance, but like when I asked him, he said, yes, I'm pissed off. And it's the first time that he felt this way about an opponent. Clearly what Jordan Levitt has said has gotten to him. Jordan Levitt was kind of discrediting him. He said, I'm not even interested in the matchup. He had some interesting things to say. I thought Jordan Levitt was great as well. Paul Craig, very honest, talking about uh, being the Homer Simpson of MMA and how people didn't take him seriously, but he feels like he's getting the respect. He's on a great winning streak. He takes on Hulk and Ozemir, and he said it's a life-changing fight. So I thought those guys killed it at media day. Moments away from the early wing, where 28 fighters are gonna step on the scale. Let's see who will miss the mark.
the UFC 280 press conference and the ceremonial wins are at the top of the hour. The fans are queuing up at the O2 Arena to see their favorite fight. Who are you guys here to see? We're here for Charles, bro. Bilal Muhammad. Let's go. Bilal Muhammad, yeah. Charles. Champ has a name. Charles. 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 The press conference and the ceremonial wins were on fire. All the guys were intense. They got in each other's faces. We saw Makayev and Johnson really get at it. Mick Maynard really had to work for that one. Patty Pimblett kind of faking uh, Jordan Levitt out. Uh, Molly McCann just getting the crowd pumped up. Paul Craig really getting in Vulcan Olsen's face. That was super, super intense. And Paul Craig fashion. But it was a great night. Uh, and then the UFC 280 press conference, Sean O'Malley, Bilal Mohammed, Charles Oliveira. Charles very respectful, you know, didn't really want to say anything bad about anyone, you know, try to get him to talk about his past opponents and stuff like that. But he's very confident, very confident in the work he's done, very confident that he's still a champion. Sean O'Malley, biggest test of his career against Peter Yan, and he's, you know, he, it's the fight that he said he wanted, but a lot of people were surprised that it became official. But credit to Sean O'Malley, that's a big step up in competition with Peter Yan and Bilal Mohammed, of course, much respect to him you know he wanted Hamza he wanted the title shot he gets a tough undefeated Sean Brady so it's gonna be a great test but he says you know what my grappling is better I'm better everywhere you know Bilal has proven so many guys wrong time and time again so uh, it was a great press conference very intense and heated ceremonial weigh-ins uh, it was a great night so officially fight day we have a stacked card 14 fights full of the UK's best talent it's been an incredible week it's gonna be a good one